make a change. It's going to make a shift. It's going to make a move. We'll start seeing that these things that they're saying that they're going to prove that it won't be able to be accomplished because we have taken our positions and we have decreed and declared the word of God, not only for our families, but for this nation because we are in time and in need of a healing. We understand that Christ is coming back and there are things that are going to happen because scripture is going to be fulfilled. But what are you going to do? It's time for us to do our part. God told us to go forth and be fruitful and multiply. That means be fruitful in the kingdom of God. This church should be full on a Wednesday night. Peace Baptist should be full on a Wednesday night. There is power in one. And the anointing of God is transferable. And it is contagious. So it's time for the change to begin in us. Yes, we are called to impact this nation. We are called to praise and proclaim God to the world. Know that your proclamation is not always verbal, but it is in your walk. It is in your lifestyle. It is in what you do. It's when you think no one else sees what you are doing. That is your proclamation. Action speaks louder than words. You proclaim Christ when you know how to love your brother and your sister. You proclaim Christ when you support the vision that God has placed within your pastor. You pro proclaim Christ when you genuinely love your pastor's wife. You genuinely love Christ when you love their children, their grandchildren, and their entire family. Yes, we are the church, and we are the people of God, and we shall show forth his glory. But it's time for us to be postured in position. Get in position. Get in position. Get in position. See, I understand that you all have prayer on Wednesdays around the noonday hour, and that's a good thing because God is positioning his people to come in alignment. He's calling us as commanders. He's calling us as commanders, as intercessors. It's time for us to make a shift in this nation. It's time for us to make a shift in Helena. It's time for us to make a shift in Birmingham. It's time for us to make a shift in Alabama. It's time. It is time. I thank the Lord that as I was in prayer today and I was studying my word and getting my notes together, had my notes together last night and God gave me something new today. But it's time for us to humble ourselves because a lot of times we have our own agenda at hand. We don't want to take hold to the vision that God has given to the visionary of the house. Now understand that God used Mother Cohill and Brother Chris to come together with new vision. But God, he used you as a stepping stone. But he had already placed in position Pastor Hauser to be the visionary. So we must catch hold and lean in and draw closer to the visionary that we may be able to fulfill the vision that has been set in this house. It's time for us to no longer be high-minded. It's good to have the nice homes. It's good to have the nice cars. But at the end of the day, what is your relationship with God? Can he depend on you to be a holy and a righteous nation? Can he depend on you to be that royal priesthood? Can he depend on you to be that peculiar person? So whatever thing that you may have, whatever um, habit, anything that will separate you from the love of God, it's time to let it go. It's time to put it on your feet and stomp on it. It's time to lay it in the dust because it is dead. And because you are children of the Most High God, you are children of the Living God, you are alive. And that dead thing does not dwell among you anymore. That sin trait that you had when you was in the world, it no longer dwell within you anymore because that's a dead thing. But God is living and his righteousness is living and it, brings, and it springs forth life. So I ask us today, just stand on our feet and we will close in prayer.
Lord, I thank you.